Welcome back to Site Tech Inner Mountain SiteWorks training videos. In this video, I wanted to show you something that kind of goes along the lines of some of the other videos I've done, um, but a little bit off is how you're going to get the PDF image. What I mean by that is I have a PDF image plan set of a garage with the perimeter footing, footings in the middle, and that's all I have. No one sent me a digital set. I'm out here ready to go. I do have a general idea of where it's going to be the face of the footing. It's one of those ones that doesn't, it's one of those garages if it doesn't have to actually land where it needs to be um, compared to like engineered control points. They just want it set out here. Someone's already established a front line. This could be um, also for a house. I'm just using a garage foundation today. Let's say it has a house or um, a garage behind a house, whatever it is. What I want to do is show you how to just take an actual picture with your phone and uh, upload it to the data collector. Shoot the line string to establish the front and the actual scale and uh, go ahead and lay out the house footprint. This, this way I'm showing you is just part of my training series to show you how to use what you've got to get your job done. This way probably isn't the best way because you gotta make sure the image that you take is right over the very top of it. And the other thing I was gonna tell you is I have tried this using the actual camera that's on the back of the TSC-7s. And no shot to them, but the TSC-7 camera isn't that great and it was kind of distorted. What I'm gonna do is take my iPhone here and I've got a QR reader on here. And I'm going to just center over the top of this as best as I can get. Zoom down to where I've just got the perimeter of it. Square up over the top of it. And I'm going to go ahead and take the best shot that I can with the best lighting. And there's my image. Now what I can do is kind of view it. And I can go ahead and export it as a PDF. What I've got here is a USB that um, is uh, USB-C on one side and um, USB on the other side. So now all I gotta do is go ahead and put that in and I'm gonna export that out as a PDF. So basically I've taken the picture that I need, I've saved it to the thumb drive. Now what I'm gonna do is create a project inside SiteWorks. So I'm gonna call this the uh, building layout also. Don't have anything else to worry about in here. Control points, nothing. It's just an infill design, if you will. For layout, I will call it the, or the, excuse me, the work order. I will create one that I'm just going to call layout. I'm going to hit finish. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and set up on a point that I have over here to do a one-point calibration. I've already got my rover running off of a base that's in the area, so I'm not going to do that in this video. But to just to establish a calibration so that I can repeatedly hit this place and also put this in the machine, I'm going to set up on the point that I have here. One thing that I needed to know here is if I'm going to lay out the actual front side of this plan set right here, what I needed to know is how long that is in order to actually set that up and scale it where, where I want it exactly. So I'm going to go with the 181 and actually lay it out that way. I'm going to go create a line string 181 feet long, which will then let me geo-reference that image that I just shot to my uh, SiteWorks program itself. So after the project is set up, I'm going to set up on this point right here in the corner to establish a, a one-point cal, or it calls it a no control point calibration. I do 5,000 and 1,000, and I usually do 100 there for the elevation. Just don't ever do zero, because then what happens is when you go below that point right here, you turn into negatives. So you could even put 1,000 feet in there if you want. But let it do its one-point calibration here. Then from this same exact point right here, I'm going to shoot a line string 181 feet. I have another point out in front of me that's kind of an alignment, if you will, for where the building needs to be squared up. That point isn't necessarily 181 feet, but I am going to save my base location. I always tell people to do that. Now what I can do, once it comes on, I can find myself on the project here, zoom down in, 
and I can go ahead and set my light bar or my panel over here to info panel. And what you need to set up in this info panel here is the one to be able to see how long that line string is you're making. So if you go down to settings and you go down to um, info bar and panel settings, info panel right here, what I can do is go down in here and I can find the one in here that looks like measured length and total line length. I like to turn those two on and then what I can do is go into my measure settings, the roller stuck in the mud, do a new line, and it could just be a line, line one, I'm just gonna delete it anyways, and then line as a type, and I'm gonna hit accept. So from this corner point, I'm gonna shoot a point, and I'm gonna start walking. And as you see on the top left there, it's gonna tell me how far this line is getting. But I'm gonna use the feather out in front of me to give myself an alignment for the face of the building so that when I geo-reference that image. So you can see here that I, that feather is way short of 181 feet, but it's just something to eyeball. So once I'm getting close to that, I'm gonna turn back around and I'm gonna eyeball in between those two uh, feathers there. If, and then I'm gonna go 181, which I'm almost there. I need to come back just a little bit and level up. As soon as I get to 181, there's 0 0.2, 0 0.3. I'm gonna just come back a little bit. As soon as I'm there, I'm gonna take my shot. So I'm good to go. So now what I can do is hit menu and measure to kind of cancel me out of that line string. So I've got a line established, which is gonna let me establish that image. So I'm gonna take my thumb drive here, Flip it over from USB to the or USB C to USB, and then I'm going to hit the little gear right here, which is going to let me go to images on the tablet uh, here. And now I'm going to check the box for background image, and I like to set this at zero on the uh, transparency, which means it's going to be full full brightness. And then the image right here. So what I do is I hit the plus the phone uh, my USB drive. So I got building layout right there. And I've got an actual J or PDF image in here, and I'm going to hit accept. It's going to go ahead and bring that image in. I'm going to bring it in as a high resolution. Now what I'm going to do is geo-reference those two corners that I was telling you about. So, yes, I want to do a world file uh, geo-reference because it didn't come in with any position. I'm going to do that myself. So what I'm going to do now is on that very, very first point that I took down by my calibration, I'm going to select that point. And then over here on the image, I'm gonna zoom way in on the actual corner that I wanted to do. You can see right there is there's that 181 image or line, if, excuse me. What I'm gonna do is establish the corner of the building from that point right there. So now on the next one, all I do is come back down here to the point that I just finished on, on the end, point two. And then on the image, same thing, I'm gonna just basically go and find where that ends, which is that arrow, but over here on the footing itself is where I need that one. So then I hit accept and load it. Once again, I, I assure you that this isn't the cleanest way to do it. The, the cleanest way is to actually import a PDF um, from someone that sent it to you. I'm just trying to show you ways to use your rovers out in the field if you're just kind of stuck in the water. So it's hard to see, but that black line comes along and it touches right on the corner right there, but it follows the footing all the way down. I can view the other side to verify and it ends right there. It's a little bit of a distorted picture, but now what I can do is with the rover, it shows me where I'm at. So I can simply just go around and actually start laying stuff out or pinpointing things. I wouldn't use this as a top high survey grade option, but now I can lay out, this is the actual corner of the footing here. If I needed to, I could go ahead and lay out exactly where that um, spot footing is. Or I can go ahead and go and find other corner points. But hopefully this video from Site Tech Under Mountain shows you how to use your site works thinking outside the box. Um, you can take a picture with your phone and geo-reference now only from 1.7 in SiteWorks and above. I hope that these training videos I'm making will help someone in a pinch or help them just start thinking of how to use this 
um, to way in ways that you know haven't been used before. Thank you for watching this video from Site Tech Inner Mountain on taking a picture of an image and exporting and importing it in and scaling it inside SiteWorks. Thank mm -hmm. you.